Today, we will learn how to configure OCSP on eGBCA. So, coming to the first slide, that what is OCSP? So, OCSP stands for Online Certificate Status Protocol. It is client and server pro kind of a protocol. So, what happens is that client, which would be our browser, it will send a request to OCSP responder, which could be an independent identity or it could be CA itself acting as a OCSP responder also. So this request will contain the serial number of the certificate and OCSP or CA will look at its database and then it will see whether this certificate is active or revoked and accordingly it will send back the reply. So the purpose of OCSP is to verify, to check the status of a certificate in real time. So in order to configure OCSP on EGBCA, what we need to do, we need to do three things. First of all, we need to ensure that OCSP protocol is enabled. And secondly, OCSP URL has been added to CA configuration, which is kind of optional. And finally, OCSP URL has been added to our certificate profile. So in order to do the first thing that OCSP protocol is enabled, we need to go to we will need to log in as a uh, system administrator to our CA and then we need to go to system configuration and under system configuration we need to click on system again system configuration and then protocol configuration and we need to enable OCSP protocol. In order to add OCSP URL to our CA we need to go to CA functions and under CA functions we need to go to certification authorities and then we need to select the active CA and then we need to select the edit CA button. And finally, we need to click on generate button which would be available in front of OCSP service default URL. So it will basically create this URL for us. And finally, what we need to do, we need to do is that we need to add OCSP URL into our certificate profile. So we need to go to CA function, certificate profiles, and we have two options. Either we can tick that use CA defined OCSP locators. We can do this thing if we have defined OCSP server in our CA. Or we can set OCSP service locator URI, which would be equal to HTTP localhost or whatever is the name of our host, port 80 or port 8080, EJ, BCA, public web status OCSP. And once we have done this thing, after that, our OCSP would be ready to be used by the certificates and plus by CA also. They will, so what CA will start doing, it will start adding that link into certificate if that certificate is created using this profile. We can test OCSP responder response using OpenSSL. So we can basically execute the command OpenSSL OCSP then we need to provide the issuer certificate. If we are using our CA as a uh, OCSP responder, then we can use CA certificate. Then CA again, we need to provide CA certificate. Then the URL, this is the URL. And then the serial number of the certificate, which we are using. Okay, let's go over to the demonstration. So first thing which we need to do, we need to log in into our EGBCA as a super admin and once we have logged in the first thing we need to do is go to system configuration and again system configuration or system configuration then we need to go to protocol configuration and we need to ensure that OCSP is enabled if it is not enabled just enable it then we need to go to certification authorities under CA CA functions we need to select our active CA. We need to basically edit that CA. And as I have already mentioned, we need to generate that link. And that can be basically done by just, if we go a little up, it should be available under, yeah, CRL. So OCSP server default URI, we can just, either we can type that link here or we can just click on the generator and it will generate for us. But it is important to use the correct 
post name. And the last thing which we need to do is in certificate profiles, basically, whatever profile we are already created, we need to ensure that we have configured the OCSP link. So under CRL distribution, so authority information assess, we need to take this one and use either CA defined OCSP locator. We can click this and it will automatically fill this or we can basically uh, can define it ourselves. So after this thing has been done, then the next thing is basically we need to test it. So in order to test, we can use the open SSL command which will consist of OCSP, then issuer certificate, which is our CS certificate, then CS certificate itself, and then the URL for me, it is the URL, and then the serial number of the certificate. This this was the last certificate which I created on this CA. So I will send this request to the OCSP responder, and I have received the response, and response is verification is okay, and this certificate is good. It is not revoked. So I hope everyone has understood how to configure OCSP. Thank you.